All right, good morning, class. Let me start by saying, by a raise of hands, how many of you guys have done all-nighters? Where you stayed up all night doing homework or either studying for exam? Yeah, a lot of us, right? Including myself, I'm most special. Um, I have doing it during final exams during the fall semester, and I know how horrible you feel the next day when you do the exam. You do not feel great. But did you know about 70% of college students throughout all the United States um, have a lack of sleep? They don't get the adequate sleep needed. And this is a big problem since if there's 75% of us, they have the daytime drowsiness, and which could affect their uh, learning aid. So what I want you to get out of this is that I want you to learn some health tips that may benefit you and benefit others. This is what I want to talk about today. And what I'm going to talk about today is the necessity to sleep, what to consume, and also uh, about physical activity and how beneficial it is to your health. So let me start by saying, what's a good night's sleep? You sleep more than eight hours. And according to Dove Chronicle Press, uh, Jackie Hersher, 2014, about um, it's very unhealthy to do all-nighters. In fact, if you do a test and you do an all-nighter, you're going to get horrible grades since it actually affects your grades in a negative way since you're too drowsy, too unconcentrated, too sleepy. And this could be more than a 24-hour uh, hour daytime, which is not good for your health. And another thing is that um, To get a good night's sleep, you have to avoid technology before going to bed. And you also have to avoid caffeine before 4 p.m. since that could affect your sleepiness because you need a good night rest. And if you don't have a good night rest, you're not gonna be ready for tomorrow. So now we know about how to deal with sleep and how to get a good night's sleep. Let's talk about what's consumed. So about 40% of all college students are considered obese in a 2012 study. Um, the uh, Cal CR 2017, the, Gustav, the Gustavian Weekly, says that about 40% of college students are unhealthy. They don't get the nutrition they need, and this could affect their weight since you're putting too much stress. Everyone in college is stressed about tests, exams, and homework, and other like things that they have to worry about. In fact, if this is what the causes the obesity, too much stress on the body, and this is why you need to know what to uh, eat. Because what you eat, because I can tell from experience, I do not eat the good. It takes a long time just to cook something, or you could go to somewhere in a fast food restaurant and just buy something, do your homework, do that same thing again, instead of wasting your time cooking food, which might be helpful and benefit you, but it costs more time. And this is what we don't have time. And I know many of us have experienced this. We don't get enough nutrition value that we need every day. We just skip sometimes breakfast. We might just buy something from the cafeteria and be done with it. But a good plan is, and a good way to get healthy is to plan before you're buying. You need to buy a variety of fruits, vegetables, and nuts to get the nutrition value you need every day. So now that we talked about um, consumption, what to consume, I want to talk about physical activity. This is the really important part about physical activity. About 50% of college students don't do any kind of um, physical activity, where it be like walking 30 minutes. It's recommended you take 30 minutes of your day just to exercise. In fact, if you take at least 45 minutes of your day just to do regular exercise, that's vigorous you might actually perform better in your tests. Since you're more energized, you have more energy throughout the day, you're more confident, and you're less stressed. Since you pump out all that stress you had in the day doing your exercise. So another thing is about the exercise that it doesn't have to be anything so vigorous. -y. It's only about doing a little walk every 10 minutes, either jogging a little. It really helps out with your body So, what was I trying to point? My point is that I want you guys to get a better way to benefit your health. I don't want you just being a number 
big number, this growing number, it's, it's an epidemic that is affecting all college students. This is a very serious number and I'm very concerned about this. I myself don't want to end up like a number as a, because this is a growing epidemic. So I want all, like all students just to go and just change up their habits a little, which I hope will benefit you in the long run, since I don't want none of, of us affecting our health in the future when we get older. So this is what will lead to diabetes. And I, and I have a father who has diabetes, and I need to take care of myself so I don't end up like him. So if you want more information, I was just going to medicalline.gov. There will give you more information about your own health and ways that you can better yourself.